Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about my August TBR and I don't expect to be able to read a whole lot in August. I am back at work now, uh, so that is taking up quite a bit of time uh, balancing work with the baby. And I also have family visiting for a large majority of the month, so that is another reason I just don't think I'll be able to get to too much reading. But the reading that I do want to get to, uh, I want to talk about today with you. So let's start with a couple of buddy reads because if you didn't know, Al and I at the beginning of this year decided that we wanted to buddy read one book every month and I have been behind. So I'm going to talk about those first because I have not yet finished 12 Kings and Jarakai by Bradley P. Bolo, which was the buddy read for the month of June. Um, so I'm a little over 100 pages in and I'm enjoying it. It's just hard to find time to read. So it's been a little bit slower of a time getting through this than I was hoping for. And I wanted to finish The Wolf last month uh, to participate in the Shelf Space Book Club live show uh, with Alan and Leanna. So I put this one aside and wanted to come back to it. So this one, I definitely want to finish for sure this month. I think that this is going to be the next one I finish, hopefully. Uh, and then the buddy read for last month, July, was supposed to be Hood by Stephen Lawhead, which is another one I was really excited to get to. It is a Celtic uh, Robin Hood retelling which sounded really fun. And I've heard really good things. Everybody seems to really like this book, the people who have read it. Um, I've seen a bunch of comments from you guys saying how much you like this book. So I'm really excited to get to it. It's just, again, finding the time. <laughs> so this is another one that I would love to prioritize this month um, and try to catch up on some of these buddy reads. And then luckily this month's buddy read is not quite as long. Uh, so it might be a little bit easier uh, to fit this one in somehow. Uh, and it is Never Die by Rob J. Hayes, which is a self-published book. And I know that this author, Rob J. Hayes, I believe he does the self-published like newsletter. They kind of advertise all of the recently self-published books uh, and I think that that's awesome so I'd love to read some of his books and this one came highly recommended it has such a cool cover I love the cover and then it sounded just really really cool um, it says time is up for the Emperor of Ten Kings and it falls to a murdered eight-year-old boy to render the judgment of a god and it says Ein who is the eight-year-old boy uh, knows he can't do it alone but the Empire is rife with heroes the only problem is in order to serve they must first die, which is so interesting. So I'm assuming that all of these heroes are dead, but are coming back to like have their revenge or to have justice or something. It sounds really fun. So this one I'm really excited to get to and it's not too long. Um, so maybe, maybe I can fit this one in. So that would be exciting. So those three are the buddy read books that I would really love to prioritize if I have the time this month. But realistically i'll probably only be able to get through like one of them um, and then another thing i wanted to prioritize moving forward was at least reading um, one self-published book every month that had been sent to me um, i have been so behind on getting to some of these books that were so so kindly sent to me by the authors and i just I'm gonna prioritize them. So the first one that I would really love to get to this month is Vile Artistry by June Chevalier. This one sounded really, really good um, when the author reached out to me about it and I've been meaning to get to it for a while now. So this one I definitely wanna prioritize this month. It says, Lilia, a girl with the ability to transform into shadow is banished from her tribe and finds herself a new home under the foster care of a lord. Sounds very dark, fantasy, shadow magic. Sounds great. So definitely prioritizing this this month. And then the other thing that I'd love to prioritize is sequels. Oh my God, sequels. So I actually am currently listening to the audiobook for Soul of the Sword by Julie Kagawa, which is the second book in the Shadow and the Fox trilogy. And I read Shadow Shadow of the Fox. Did I say Shadow and the Fox? Shadow of the Fox. I read that one in June and I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. It's Japanese inspired fantasy. It followed these two very polar opposite characters on this journey. It was so cute. 
Oh my gosh. So I really wanted to get to the sequel and I'm about halfway through the audiobook and I'm not enjoying this one quite as much as the first one. Uh, there's something that happens at the end of the first book that kind of leads to this separate storyline um, in the second book and there is the absence of a certain character that I really loved from the first book in this book which definitely hinders my enjoyment a little bit, not gonna lie, um, but still enjoying it overall. So definitely want to finish this one. And I think I will um, because it's, the audiobook's great for it. Uh, I really like the two narrators um, that flip flop between the perspectives. And then a couple of other sequels that I'd love to prioritize because you guys, <laughs> I have realized that if I don't start binging series, then I completely forget what happened in the previous book. I like my memory is so bad. And so I just need to stop starting new series. And I say that as I'm like starting a bunch of new series, <laughs> but I need to stop starting new series before I've finished previous ones that I've started because I just have realized that I do not have enough memory <laughs> to remember everything that happened in previous books. Um, and it definitely hinders my enjoyment of the sequels, which that is not on the sequel. That is totally on me. If I were binging these series, it wouldn't be a problem. So I think that that's gonna be my goal moving forward is to stop starting so many new series and to start finishing the series I've started. Um, I think the only exceptions to that rule are going to be L and I's buddy reads. So outside of those, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop starting new series until I finish these because I'm really enjoying them. So the first one that I would love to get to is The Blood Mirror by Brent Weeks, which is the fourth book in the Lightbringer series. And I feel like my enjoyment of this series has started to kind of dwindle with each book. I loved the first book. I thought it was so much fun. The magic system was so cool. I loved the characters. The writing was fast paced. It was so easy to follow. And then the second one was really good. It didn't quite have that same five star feeling as the first book. And then the third book, I just, I was a little bit more like meh on. Um, and I think it's because I've been taking longer and longer between books to read them. So again, that is not on the series, that is on me. Um, so that is why I really wanna prioritize getting to the blood mirror so that I have a good memory of what happened in the broken eye and I don't forget everything because this could be like a, a favorite series if I would just finish it. So the blood mirror is definitely one I wanna to get to and I did start a little bit of it. And at the beginning, Brent Weeks includes a series recap and a summary of what happens in each book. And I love when authors do that. I, why is that not a requirement? It is fantastic when they include these summaries of previous books. It is so helpful. So love that. Um, so this was one I definitely want to get to. And then the other one is An Echo of Things to Come by James Eilington, which is the second book in the Lycanius trilogy. And I read the first one. Uh, back in April as the Shelf Space book club pick, and I ended up really enjoying it. I was shocked because everyone compares this series to Wheel of Time, and I am not a huge fan of The Eye of the World, uh, so I was a little bit nervous, but I ended up really enjoying The Shadow of What Was Lost. So I've been so excited to continue on with the series, and that is a book that has so many different plots and characters and things going on that if I don't prioritize picking up this second book, I feel like I'm just going to forget everything that happened. So I have to get to this soon. I just, I hope I can do it. I hope I can do it. Um, so the, those are all of the books that I would love to prioritize in the month of August. And again, I mean, realistically, I'm not really going to get to much of these at all. I think let's let's actually be realistic here. What am I actually going to get to? I know I'm going to finish this one because that's like I'm already I've already started it. 
I just I want to prioritize it. That's going to be like the first one I try to finish. I know I'm going to finish this one because it's audiobook. I'm halfway through. Um, so that th those two definitely for sure. And then I'd really like to prioritize vile artistry. Um, again, just I, I want to read these books that have been sent to me and, and I think I need to prioritize them. So those three, um, I know that I'm going to at least try to get to, uh, at least try to finish this month. And then if I can finish those, I think the next one that I pick up is Blood Mirror because again, it, I feel like it's been a little long since I've read Broken Eye and it hasn't even been that long, but it's been a little too long. And if I don't get to this soon, I'm gonna forget everything. I swear I, I will. So realistically, this is it, you guys. This is, this is gonna be <laughs> the August TBR. And then if I can get to the rest being these, that'll be fantastic. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat myself up if I, if I don't get to all of them because it, it's a lot, you guys, it's a lot. What are you most excited to read in the month of August? I would love to know. Leave those comments down below. Did you see any that you're particularly excited for me to read? Uh, any that you have read yourself? Please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.